I'm going to show you two different edges that you can do on your finished blanket. One is the pico edge, this one right here, and the other is the scalloped edge. And I think I've decided to put the scallop edge on this particular blanket. This is the Oodles of Poodles knitted blanket. I've done my five rows of single crochet border all the way around. Now to do this, the pico stitch, what you're going to do is I have one here already. So in between each pico is a single crochet. So this is the next stitch right here, and I'm going to single crochet in that one. Actually, let me look at that. Yes, that's correct. So single crochet is going into the stitch, wrapping your yarn over, pulling it up so that you have two loops, wrapping again, and pulling through both loops. So let's get started on the pico, which is the next stitch, and you're going to slip stitch. So that's going through that stitch, wrapping your yarn over, pulling it through the stitch, and then through the loop on your hook. So that starts the pico. Chain up five for this particular one. Some people do two, some people do three. I'm going to do five since this is a large blanket, so that's one, two, three, four, five chains, and then we're going to slip stitch again in the same stitch in order to finish off that pico. And picots are really um, just like little bumps. You see how that makes that edge? So now we need to single crochet in between the pico. So here's the next stitch and we're going to single crochet and I'll show you the pico again. We're going to slip stitch to begin. Pull it through and through. Now chaining five. One, two, three, four, five. And slip stitching back in the same hole to finish it off. And there you have it. It's pretty simple. It's really cute, gives it kind of a frilly, lacy edge. Now I'll show you the scallop, which is what I've decided to put on this blanket. The next stitch I'm going to show you is the scallop edge. And I think it's the one I've decided I'm going to put on this particular blanket. This is the poodle blanket that we've done. I've done the five rows. I just showed you the pico edge, so now I'm going to show you the scalloped edge. To get started, we're going to skip three stitches in between each scallop. So count one, two, three, and we're going to go into this fourth stitch right here. So to begin, you do a half double crochet, which is wrapping the yarn around the hook, going through the stitch, wrapping again and pulling a loop up. So we have three loops. Wrap again, pull through all three loops. That begins the scallop. Now four double crochet are in the middle. So wrap your yarn, go through the same stitch, wrapping your yarn and pulling up a loop. So now we have three. Wrap your yarn again, pull it through two loops. Wrap your yarn again, pull it through the last two loops. So again, wrap your yarn through the same stitch, wrap your yarn, and pull up a loop. Wrap your yarn again, pull through two loops, wrap your yarn again, pull through the last two. This is our third double crochet. And finally, the fourth double crochet. So to finish off the scallop, we need another half double crochet for the end. Just wrapping your yarn around, going through the same stitch, pulling up three so that you have three loops. Wrap again, pull through all three. And that's your scallop. Skipping three stitches in between, beginning with a half double crochet,
and now four double crochet all in the same stitch Here's number three, number four, and half double crochet to finish off the end. So keep working. I'm going to finish the scallop edge all the way around, and then I'll complete the final video to show you pictures or video of the entire blanket finished. So keep going, skipping three stitches and beginning with a half double crochet.